Okay, this is the P2 paper from October 2021. It's question number one, and as we can see when I get there, this is going to be a binomial expansion question. So binomial expansion, let's just read it. It says we've got the binomial expansion of 1 plus kx to the 16, and it's telling me that the first three terms are 1 minus 4x and plus px squared. We've got to try and work out what k is and what p is. So in other words, we've got to multiply out this expansion here and then see what we get and compare. So when we're looking at this then, for part a, the binomial expansion in the formula sheet is a plus b to the n is equal to a to the n plus... Now I say nc1 because that's what I use on the calculator, nc1 a n minus 1 b and it just gets built up so as we're going through it'll become n c 2 which means it's a to the n minus 2 the power of a is going down by 1 each time as we're looking at the values and the b's match it so if a goes down by 1 b goes up by 1 plus dot 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 but we don't need to go uh, any further than that when we're looking at it so all we've got to do is to think that in my version, I've got 1 plus kx. 1 plus kx to the power of 16. So that's going to be really nice because a is going to be equal to 1. So I can almost ignore 1 to the n, 1 to the n minus 1, 1 to the n minus 1. 1 to the power of anything is which 1. b is slightly more problematic. It's kx. So I've got to be careful when I'm putting that in. And n is going to be equal to 16. So let's actually just make that substitution then. So as I just said, uh, putting in a to the power of n is just 1 to the power of 16. I'm not going to put the powers in. I'm going to make it nice and easy. So that's 1 plus 16c1. Again, a does, I don't need to worry about. I've just got kx there for my b. And plus... 16c2 here. Again, the 1 doesn't uh, affect me at all, so I've just got kx all squared. Let's just take a little bit of time to tidy that up then. That's going to be 1 plus 16kx plus uh, that's um, 16c2. Do it on the calculator, but that's the same as 16 times 15 divided by 2. Uh, so that works out to be uh, 120 k squared x squared just be careful when you're doing that okay it's k squared as well and now we can use the comparison up here that our first value was one our second value was minus 4x so 16 kx must equal to minus 4x that's going to give me k works out to be equal to minus a quarter so that's k already done and then we also know that 120 k squared is equal to p. We just had, in fact, let, let, sorry, let's just slow that down a second. If I'm actually equating the two terms, I'm getting 120 k squared x squared equals p x squared. But I'm getting that 120 k squared is equal to p. And because we now know that k is equal to minus a quarter, then 120 times minus quarter squared is equal to p, and just work out what that works out to be. p works out to be equal to 15 over 2, so that's part 1 being done, and that's part 2 being done. So we've worked out what um, k and p are now. So what does the second part of the question say? Second part of the question says, using the value of k found in part a, yeah, obviously, um, if gx works out to be this thing here now, can we find the term in x squared when we do that expansion? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go ahead and have a go at trying to do that. So b, we're saying gx is equal to 2 plus 16 over x, all multiplied by 1 plus kx, to the 16. So first of all, let's just say with the 16 over x that the uh, k, we know what that is, is 1 minus a quarter x to the power of 16 now. 
and I want to find up to the term in x squared. So if I want to find up to the term in x squared, just need to be careful here that I can um, 2 plus 16 over x. If we expand this one out to the term in x squared, that'd be great. That looks like that's the right thing to do, first of all. So let's, ju let's just pretend 1 plus x plus x squared. It's not going to be that, but just for the sake of explaining it to you. What I'm then going to need to do, plus dot, 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 is to multiply it by 2 to get all my values, and then, more importantly, to multiply by 16 over x to get all my values. And if I'm interested in the x squared term, then I'm going to be interested in the 2 times by whatever that term is, because that will give me x squared. But also, I'm going to need 16 over x multiplied by the x cubed term because the x cubed and the 16 over x will cancel to give me an x squared term. You might need to just stop the video, rewind it, and just play that again before you understand that what that means I've got to do when I'm doing my expansion of my second part of this bracket here, I've got to go up to the term in x cubed when we're actually going ahead and doing it. Now, I've already done some work on this, so I already know uh, what the first three terms are. So if we're looking at this, we knew from before that this was 1 plus 16kx plus 16... Well, let's, let's put the actual value in because we know what the value is there. We actually had it, didn't we? Plus 120, sorry. Plus 120k squared x squared plus... But I've got to now work out what my third term is. So I'm almost going to go back to the work I was doing here and just remind myself of how I got that next term and then I'll, I'll jump it back in. So we'd said one, 16C1KX, 16C2KX squared. So the next term is gonna be 16C3KX cubed. Now I'm not gonna leave that there. I've only done that up there to make it easier for me to work that out. I'm gonna use the magic of the iPad here. This thing, I can now actually put down here. Okay, let's just tidy this all up then. So I'm getting that as being my third term now. So that's gonna be two plus 16 over x multiplied by, and let's tidy all those terms up. We know, And obviously knowing that, k is equal to a quarter. Put that actually in. So I'm going to get um, 1 minus 4x. Sorry, k is equal to minus quarter. So 1 minus 4x. This will be plus 15 over 2x squared minus 35 over 4 x cubed. Let me just make it really clear what I've done. I put k as being equal to minus a quarter into all those ones there. Now, we, we actually knew those two anyway, because we knew from the first part of the question that it was minus 4x and plus 15 over 2. But that third term, let's just tidy that up, that third term here was saying k was equal to minus a quarter. Put that in and work out what that value is. So why have I done that? I've done that because they want the term in x squared. Now, I'm going to save myself some time here. What you should be doing when we're multiplying these out is 2 times 1, 2 times minus 4x, 2 times that one, and 2 times that one. But I don't need to do 2 times. 2 times 1 is 2, but I don't need that term. 2 times minus 4x is minus 8x. I don't need that term. The only term I actually am interested in is the term in x cubed. So I'm going to say that's 2 times 15x squared over 2. And then the other term I'm interested in will be that one there, which is minus 16 over x times 35 over 4x cubed. Whether you want to say plus there and then put the minus there or just leave it as the minus like I'm going to do. I don't really mind. 
get rid of those bits there. So it's tidying these two values up now is going to give me 15x squared from the first one. And this is where you see why I'm doing it, hopefully. The x cubed and the x will cancel to give me an x squared there. That's going to be minus 140x squared. And then those two tidy up to be minus 125x squared. Okay, that's a really tri tricky opening question, I think, for a binomial. It looks like it's nice and easy for that first part, but this last part here, don't worry too much if you didn't get it. You know, th these are the, the difficult questions. We are going to have some difficult questions in a P2 paper, but they've opened up right at the start of this paper with a particularly difficult part. Okay, keep looking back at that video. Hopefully it makes sense.